let us continue with the bridge course hello my dear students in this video we learn about a logarithms under basic mathematics for physics now let us see what is logarithm how will you represent this logarithm in mathematically and how this logarithm applicable in physics if a the power of x is equals according to that logarithms if a the power of x is equals to m if a the power of x is equals to m then x is called logarithm of m to the base a i hope it's clear if a the power of x is equals to m then x is called here x is called the logarithm of m to the base a here mathematically we can write it as if a the power of x is equals to m then log m to the base a is equals to x for example for example the to the power of 4 for example to the power of 4 is equals to 16 how will you write this in the logarithmic form that is log m to the base a if you compare this which is a the power of x is equals to m here a is just like you just compare a is 2 x is 4 and m is 16 i hope it's clear if you compare with the general formula a the power of x is equals to m then this example one becomes a is equals to 2 x is equals to 4 m is equals to 16 therefore according to that log m log m means 16 to the base a a is 2 log 16 to the base 2 is equals to x x is here 4 i hope it's clear log 16 to the base 2 is equals to 4 similar way if 3 the power of 3 is equals to 27 if 3 cube is equals to 27 then log of then log of 27 to the base 3 is equals to 3 log of 27 to the base 3 is equals to 3 i hope this is clear so we can write a logarithm as like this if it is in the form of an a the power of x is equals to m then logarithm we can write it as in the form of log of m to the base a is equals to x now let us see the standard formulas of logarithms so that is now we will see the standard formula of logarithms that is log m into n m and n are any integer log m into n to the base e is equals to log m to the base e plus log n to the base e we can also write it as if log mn to the base e is equals to log m to the base e plus log n to the base e for some simplification purpose we can use this standard formula for logarithms now see the second one log m divided by n to the base e if log m divided by n to the base e is equals to log of m to the base e minus log of n to the base e another formula that is log m divided by n to the base e any values or any integers are in the ratios are that means now which is equals to log m to the base e minus log n to the base e that will be subtraction here the multiplication is that means 
addition comes addition separately here division is there means so the subtraction will comes now another rule is the that is log m the power of n to the base e if log m the power of n to the base e is the means we'll write it as n into log of m to the base so log m to the power of n is the means log m to the power of n to the base e which is equals to n into log of m to the base e i hope it's clear so these are the three standard formula of logarithms so these formulas are needed to understand some concepts in physics so now let us see the systems of logarithms so there are two systems are there in a logarithms now we will see that first one a natural logarithm a natural logarithm and another one a common logarithm so there are two system of logarithms one is natural logarithm and another one is common logarithm mathematically we'll write it as like this log of m to the base e log m to the base e that means log of any number to the base e that is one type that is we can call it as a natural logarithm log of any number to the base e similarly the common logarithm if it is log of m to the base 10 here common logarithm means logarithm of any number any number to the base 10 so i hope it's clear natural logarithm means logarithm of any number to the base e and common logarithm means logarithm of any number to the base 10 the difference is to the base e and to the base 10 to the base e is we can taken as a natural logarithm and to the base 10 is taken as common logarithm in physics we will written as like this if it is ln x is the means which is a natural logarithm if it is simply if you wrote log x that is common logarithm i hope it's clear in physics usually we'll write it as like this that is ln x we'll take as a natural logarithm and log x which is common logarithm now let us see how will you convert from one system of logarithm to another system of logarithm now let us see the conversion of logarithms conversion of logarithm that is particularly for a log x to the base e log x to the base e to a common logarithm that is log x to the base 10 so now we'll see the conversion from base e to base 10 if in a natural logarithm if i wrote ln x or log x to the base e is there which is equal to 2.303 which is equal to 2.303 log x to the base 10 log x to the base 10 or simply will write it as log x the base 10 we are not mentioning simply we are write it as log x that is 2.303 into log x i hope it's clear either ln x or log x to the base e is there means that is the natural logarithm 
this natural logarithm is converted into a common logarithm means so which is equals to 2.303 log x to the base 10 or we can also write it as 2.303 log x simply log x so this is the conversion directly if you can write this is better so this is the conversion from natural logarithm to common logarithm now let us see this logarithms helps in which topic of physics so that conversion of natural logarithm to common logarithm are used in a thermodynamics chapter particularly finding the work done work done in an isothermal process so in a physics thermodynamics work done in the derivation of work done in an isothermal process this logarithm will help how it helps let us see if work done is equals to we will get the expression of work done is equals to rt into log of v2 divided by v1 to the base e so work done is equals to rt into log of v2 divided by v1 to the base e so this is the formula of work done in an isothermal process so here we are applying the logarithms the standard formula as well as conversion from a natural logarithm to common logarithm now let us see that so first thing is this is in a natural logarithm so that natural logarithm has to convert it into common logarithm because in as usually in all the cases we are using a common logarithms all the values are also in a common logarithms that's why the conversion is very important so according to the conversion of this we already know the conversion log x to the base e is equals to 2.303 log x to the base 10 so we already know the conversion of natural logarithm to common logarithm that is log x to the base e is equals to 2.303 into log x to the base 10 how it helps here the work done is equals to 2.303 r into t log of v2 divided by v1 to the base 10 so this will be the conversion from natural logarithm to common logarithm and also here what you observe this is related to the standard formula which is also helps us how it will helps let us see the work done is equals to 2.303 rt log of v2 to the base 10 minus log of v1 to the base 10 i hope clear how i wrote this by using the general standard formula that is log m divided by n to the b e is which is equals to log m to the base e minus log n to the base e so by using this formula we wrote log v2 to the base 10 minus log v1 to the base 10 so this is not only for a natural logarithm this standard formula is applicable for both natural logarithm as well as common logarithm this is one of the sample of concept the logarithms applied in physics so this type of concepts will comes in your first year and second year physics thank you